Hi everyone. Right, I've been rummaging through all my things and like I said, I'm going to make this room. Um, but I also need a doll and I need to dress her. So I've got this doll. Um, which I can take apart. But what I need to do is to get the wig off. Because I do have some hair that I'm going to put on it. And I like how they've done that. They've done a little bit of stretch material. So you like that. So yeah. We'll see about doing that. I'll keep that because it'll come in handy for another one. Poor thing. <laughs> and I found all bits and pieces that I can use. And I'm going to recreate this one as well. Which is a croquet set. Now, I've got some leg things here, and I'm... And I'm about to um, do a chair. I'm going to make a chair. So I've cut, or cut in the shape out. I've drawn and cut the shape. Almost done. And this is what's going to go in front of the dressing table, I think. So let's just move her out of the way. I've got some legs here that I may need to snip off. I haven't got enough of those. And I've got some here. And I'm going to need four of them. Now I think I'm only going to need that big. So, find my snippers. You can snip them off. And don't waste those because they'll come in handy somewhere else. In fact, I've just thought of something for them. So let me get them back out. Where has it gone? Oh. I've lost the blooming thing now. Never mind, I can't be bothered. I'll cut another one. I've got plenty of these. I've a load in a drawer. Right, so I don't need those. Just yet. Let's put them to one side. But those, what I've got here is a footstool that I want to change. So I'm going to take off that keep those and then what i'm going to do is sandpaper oh, should we get some sandpaper there we go i just have to flatten these off lay them down I just want to flatten them off a bit. Because I'm going to glue these back on. Oh, I turned the glue gun off. You silly woman. Never mind, it won't take long. We'll sand these down while we're waiting. It's all right. There we go, we don't need that one. So we've got those ready. Now what I'm going to do with this... Um, I need the chair, so I need to make the base. Now, let me just test this. Oh, 
Oh, that way, what am I doing, silly old? Will that work? Is that too? That's too small, I think, because in a boudoir we need fairly biggish chair, don't we? A nice sumptuous chair, I would think. You know, everything is literally made by hand. Right, okay, that's fine. Okay, so I can just bend the chipboard. So that will bend in like that. I don't want it smooth underneath, I just want a gap. Oh, that's it. Whoopsie daisy, never mind that, don't worry. Okay. Do you know what I might do? I've got a little bit thicker. Oh, I've got some foam board here, that'll do. Foam board. Yeah, a lot easier to use. Use that. It's just firmer, that's all. Let's cut this straight. That's better. Now, that'll do. Just warmed up. Yeah, I think so. I'm just going to pop that kind of like hopefully in the centre and hold on to that. That's right. And then Hold on to that. Oops, it is it. That's the only thing you've got to be careful of is it doesn't rip the chipboard. I'm going to hold that like that. Don't want that up as much, that's it. Oh yeah, I like that. Now, where that started to crack there. I mean, I'm going to cover it, so I'm not that fussed about it, but that'll hold that. You know, it's all level. Must be a nice chair. And then we've got to glue the legs on. So I'm just going to glue it on like that. Should be about level. I'm not bothered about the glue because you're not going to see that, it's going to have a skirt on it. 
so that should yeah that's it yeah made my chair look I'm going to round this off so don't worry about that I'll just let that set I don't know whether to turn them out I want to turn them out that's it like that like it's got wings yeah I like that that's fine now what I can do is just very carefully round off that section yeah that's fine quite happy with that and I've made myself a chair and I'm gonna pin that back no I don't want any arms on it or anything that I just wanted a chair that will sit up against the dressing table so yeah thrilled with that great what else can I make so I'm just going to set that aside on top of the bed oops leg leg don't do that to me uh, now I found this um so it, it's not sure if it's big it too small actually no it's fine it's fine and it's already got the dogs on it but what i did find was this huge mirror like that and i was going to put that on and i'm going to decorate the mirror And I'm going to have to fit that mirror on like that. So, I'm just going to get the better part of the mirror, which is that bit. Right, and we're just going to whoops, make sure that's level. Does that look level? It came off something else. So did this. I mean, all this is going to be painted and decorated, so I ain't fussed about any of this at all. Yeah. And I can put, like, a lace and a trim round there to shabby chic that up. So that's a mirror done. Yeah, quite made up with that. Do I, I might need to, no actually that'll be fine, in fact let's, let's just get going with this, let's do something with this mirror. So I'm just going to pop my bits and pieces out of the way, um, I will clean up, <laughs> so I'm not bothered about polishing the mirror at the moment but um, I'm going to put the laces on and that, oh let me just get all my trim out. Now, what do I need? Oh, I've got some beautiful, beautiful tr oh, Victorian. Oh, God, it's gorgeous. Trim. And I just adore it. Look. Oh, it's gorgeous. So what I could do... Let's just get this cut straight here. Um. I can put that trim along there to start with and then put a nice, yeah, I'm going to do that. Because um, it is like a vintage Victorian bedroom. So what I'm going to do is just apply that there and that there like that and 
Oops a daisy. Oh, can't let that happen. Now that has to go on. So I have to take that off what I've just put on. Why is, did it dry first? I think it dried immediately. So we have to put it on like that. That's it. And then fasten that down, that's fine. Do you have to make sure you get this the right way? I might actually put it onto this. Yeah, I think I'll do it like that. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty, pretty. Just need to move that over a bit, I think. And then, what, a little bit going across the top. I just love it because it's really Victorian lace. Yeah. Sorry if I might have shot, I don't mean to be. Yeah, that's pretty. Oh, that's beautiful. And when this is all painted, it's going to look absolutely gorgeous. Um, and then what I'm going to do is put another trim on that. I've got some of this, which is like um, a sticky trim. See, you just stick it, peel and stick it on. And I think that's going to look fantastic like that. So, let me just cut the length I need. I'll cut that. I'm actually going to take it over the edge, I think, just to secure it. And you must remember to make sure they're going on the same way. You know, I like the that pattern going that way because there is a difference in the pattern. Okay. Might also glue this as well. So we'll just pop that on there, like that. That's great. There we go, just pop that on. And then we'll still glue that. Because no one's going to see the back. Yeah. And then we just want a piece going across 
the inside. That's all. And the reason is because there will be flowers or something hanging from that top. So it's not going to need anything else. Like that. So it's bordered it. It looks really pretty. Okay. I'm not going to do any more just yet. Just pop that trim away. Just pop that back, sorry. Yeah, I like that. Mm. Now, I need to get these little dogs off, actually. But I don't want to break... Oh, that's it, they came off. That's fine. They will go back on. Uh, and this I'm going to um, paint next and then cover. I need a cover on it. And I do have... Leave them little dogs there and they'll go back on. Um, I do have, well first of all, let's get it painted. I'm going to do it white and then do a pink coat on it, I think. Okay, let's get going with this. I know you're saying, oh, why didn't you do that first, Fee? Because I, I couldn't be bothered. <laughs> it all comes out well in the end. You don't have to do it a particular way. Now, let's see if we can fill these in with paint. See, I've done it. There's no smudging on it or anything. By putting the white undercoat on type of thing, it'll just help it. Help the pink stay pink. I don't even know where I took this from, it's, uh, I've had it a while, I think, <laughs> I can't remember. Let's paint the back of the mirror, like that as well. Now I am going to paint the inside at the back. I aren't fussing about it too much at all. Because I'm going to be putting a floral display in it, to be honest.
any of that off. That's it. Right, I'm just going to let that dry um, and then I can give it a coat of pink but it's already changed to that I'll be back shortly Right, I'm back everyone um, I haven't filmed all of it but I will run through it with you um, The fireplace is now finished Now, I hope you can see that This will drop forward when it's stood up It's leant back because um, there's no weight behind it you know, it's just loose like that. But what I've done, um, I've done the flower display in the back, uh, in the fire, you know, in the hearth. Uh, added some pearly bits uh, and some little flowers here. Um, I've got some little metal things that I'm going to put on there once I've painted them, just to make it more Victorian-like. I've added the lace going around, which is matching the lace in here. I've made a little lace fan out of the same lace. But then on top, I've done a runner of this pink lace. Uh, put the dogs back on. I think they look really cute. Added the fan with the flowers. Put the pearl around the edging. And put the flowers in the corners. I might hang the jewellery from here yet. I don't know, you know, make some beaded things up or something like that. But when that um, stands upright and that lace, it's just beautiful, absolutely beautiful lace. So I hope you can see that. And I'm really sorry for what's in the camera. So I'll just show you it that way. Where are we? There we are. It is, it's turned out really nice. Um, and that was a good project, so that's uh, another miniature done. Um, and I'll be back with some more shortly. Thanks for watching, take care, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye for now.